We have to remember Jerusalem, right? We have to love Jerusalem. Go to, go to uh, Psalms uh, 122. All right, Psalms. Go to Psalms 122 and start at verse 4. Bring it on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 122, verse 4. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimonies of Israel, to give thanks unto the Lord, Salakia, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. You see that? And where do they go? Read verse 3. Whether is it Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. You see that? To Jerusalem. Right? Go back to Psalms 137. Right? We have to remember Jerusalem and love Jerusalem and give thanks to the Lord of hosts. Right? The Lord God of Israel. Right? Read. What's the book of Psalms 137, verse 5? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Verse 6. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. You see that? We got to remember Jerusalem and love Jerusalem. Right? For the Most High loved us. Right? Read. That is our home. Okay? Uh, Jerusalem is our home. That's our country. That's where uh, we're from. Okay? Real quick. Get, get James Wood. Right? Get James Wood real quick. Right? We have been scattered abroad and forgot who we are. Our home is Jerusalem. Come on, look it up. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. You see that? We have been scattered abroad. We don't remember where we come from. We don't remember who we are. Jerusalem is our home. Okay, this one's going to be seven. Happy shall we be that rewarded thee, as thou hast served us. You see that? Happy shall he be that reward thee, as thou hast served us. Hold that. Go back to 18. Read that again. Verse 6. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 6. Reward her, even as she rewarded you. You see that? It says to reward her, even as she rewarded you. Read. And double. And what? And double. Hey, they got to get it double, man. Hey, we've been in slaves here for almost 500 years. They got to go for a thousand. As I've said before, and I'm going to keep saying because it's the truth. Right? That's we gotta, right. We got to proclaim this among the Gentiles. Pay that camera, sister. We're going to proclaim this among the Gentiles. Okay? Real quick, I finish that. And double unto her, double according to her works. What if, what if, what if, uh, what if, 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 what This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. And that's what we do. We out here standing in great boldness telling all of the Edomites, hey, let's run that war back. Right? I want my get back. Read. And make no account of his labor. Right. Because we worked hundreds and hundreds of years as slaves for y'all and we ain't get nothing for it. Read. Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Right. So we ain't heard about it. Right. 
and we don't fear a goddamn thing up here. Read. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all they that look all sloppy. All that they look for. Right, because they never expected us to stand up and rise up. Okay, with the fear of the Lord on us, right? And keeping these commandments and rocking these sprinkles, right? And keeping our beards and all our high holy days and celebrating the Sabbath day. Come! They didn't expect that. Yeah. Verse 3 And they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proper of reproach. They said, man, these good things look like kings, man. They don't just look like no niggas, man. That's this, right. This is, this is the men we did that to, right? The same people I want to go watch play basketball because they can do things I can never do. The same people I want to watch, man, bring that out, read that. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 3. And they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit, so say within themselves, this was he who we had sometimes in derision, and a proverb of reproach. Verse 4. We fool accounted his life madness. Right, y'all accounted our life madness. But we the kings of the earth, they said the Lord. We. And his end to be without honor. Verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of God? Right, because we are the children of God. We go, go to Genesis 15. You see, y'all putting us in slavery was prophesied in the Bible. Thirteen. It's the book of Genesis, chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. And he said unto Abram, Know for surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them. 400 years. You see that? This is what prophesied that y'all was going to bring us to this land that's not ours and afflict us for 400 years and put us in slavery. But watch the, watch the, end, watch the latter end of this prophecy. Read. Verse 14. And also that nation whom they shall serve. The Edomites. The white man. That nation who we have been serving. What's going to happen? I will judge. I will what? I will judge. Hey, y'all got a judgment coming for y'all, man. Go back to uh, Psalms 137. Read the last one. Let's finish this chapter. On. This is Psalms chapter 137, verse 9. Happy shall he be that take it and dash it. Thy little ones against the stone. You see that? And that's the judgment that's coming for y'all. Get over by you. And y'all got a judgment coming to y'all, man, for touching the apple of the most high God's eye. We are the apple of his eye. Get that and hold it. Right, go to Deuteronomy 32. Read, read verse 10. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 10. He found him in a desert. Start at, start at 9 so they know who we're talking about. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So he's talking about Israel right now. Read. Verse 10, he found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about, he instructed him, he kept him, 
as the apple of his eye. As the what? As the apple of his eyes. Hey, we didn't, the apple of the most high God's eye, man. You don't touch us. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Hey, you believe in God, brother? Let us read you some Bible scripture. That's right, all praise, all praise. What's your father last name? I've been ready. Look at this sign right here, brother. This very picture right here. You see all the seals on this sign? What sign? What you see it in? Judah. You know what that is? I want to say you something, right? Because are you the, are you the color of my shoes or your pants? That's right, black is only your color. You're not black. I'm going to show you something. What did God call you in the Bible? I'll answer you. That's good. That's, that's good. You're there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what God called us in the Bible. Don't ever forget this. You know what Jesus looked like? Like ours. And he had one hair. Which means he was what? He was us. And what race was Jesus? He was with you. Which would make you a what? That's right. Now watch this. I'm going to get you a Get uh, do it. Uh, uh, okay. Let's do it on the I'm going to make this quick. I know you want to do what you're going to do. Get do it on the of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to take with him take to make this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 1 these are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to take to make with the children of Israel so who did Moses make this covenant with? the children of Israel right now go to the covenant go to 28 read verse 15 this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Which means it's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to the voice of God. To observe, to do all his commandments. And do the commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses. So what's going to happen to the children of Israel if they don't do the commandments? Purchase. But read 16. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. What race of people are cursed in the ghettos and the storms throughout all of America? We all. So who are the children of Israel? We all. One more scripture. Get 68. You know what uh you know what the Israelites were doing in Egypt? Why Moses said, let my people go? They were slaves in Egypt, right? We This is the book. This is one of the curses. This this my yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This, this this the last curse of the Bible, brother. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Which means slavery again. The Lord is gonna bring you into Egypt again, which means slavery again. But how? With ships on a train. With ships on a plane. With ships. With ships. What race of people went into slavery on ships? Who did, brother? That's right. We did. So what would that make you, brother? Say it loud and proud in the mic one time. Let us know what, what God called your race of people in the Bible and what tribe to come from. Tribe of Judah. And what did God call our race of people in the Bible? Jews. The children of what? Say a lot of pride in the mic. The children of Israel. That's ah. right, brother. We the children of Israel. You come from the tribe of what? Judah. That's right, brother. Boom, Yasharada. Don't ever forget that, brother. 